Hey guys, what's up? Today we're having a look at Half-Life again, and this is version 3. So I hope that they improved some things, and uh, to be honest, it looks like it. I mean, I, I see the frames dropping much less and not as low, it actually keeps it pretty steady on 60. I couldn't load my save file, which is a bummer, but yeah, I just updated the game over the homebrew browser. So, yeah, that's fine. It was a, a beta version. It's still a beta version. But, wow, look at the fluidity. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty nailed on 60 right now. Uh, with occasional drops, but never under 45, as far as I can see. The, look how... Oh my god, it's, it's, it's smooth as... Yeah, as butter. Um, so let's have a look at it. You're gonna see the first 10 minutes of the game. Uh, for real, okay. They mapped it on the back. There are several changes, I assume. But one change that is immediately noticeable is the frame rate. Look at this. It's not going below 45. I mean, latest in the, in the section where you actually have the experiment going on, you should be able to see if there are any drops doesn't look like it. I would bet that there aren't drops below 30. Oh my god. This is so amazing. I really enjoyed the 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 mod, yeah, when it first came out. I was like, wow, how cool is that? Because yeah, back in the day when Half-Life was released, I didn't have Half-Life. I didn't own a PC back then. I'm not necessarily coming from the richest family on this planet and we only had a really crappy PC um, and I think in the time when Half-Life was released we didn't own a PC at all so yeah, I didn't play it I played Half-Life 2 and I was a big fan of that game of course I mean is there any person on this planet that doesn't love Half-Life 2. Is there anyone? I doubt it. But, yeah. Okay, now we actually see... some machines. So there is stuff going on. Okay. Dip to 38. But not below 30. And yeah, it seems pretty fluid. Should I, should I increase the volume a little bit? Maybe. But maybe not that much. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. That would be really cool for my small little gaming channel. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, it would motivate me to upload more stuff. Okay, 30. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe in this area, which I mentioned before, maybe it, it drops below 30, but I have the feeling that, yeah, that it's vastly improved. And I don't only have the feeling, to be honest. I mean, it's not that long time ago since I played it. Um, and I remember very well how it dropped in the... Tens. Yeah. By the way, it's the same thing with Doom. Doom, I just recently played the original Doom. Ah, yeah, okay, it's dead. It's just loading. I really love the hacking scene of the PlayStation Vita. It's just lovely how those people, like the Flow or Rintegatamente, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I think he's an Italian guy. 
Anyway, they just put so much effort inside this little console. All the effort that Sony never put, they didn't, which Sony failed to deliver basically, those people are delivering it and it's just making me happy. Um, and I have really deep respect for their work because I know coding is, you know, it's not a piece of cake. You sit hours and hours up an end. I'm a music producer by profession. Um, so I really know how it is to sit in front of something and just devote yourself to it. Um, but yeah, I always have to think that I get basically reward rewarded with gigs and money and yeah other things. And those people, yeah, basically the same. They also get the reward of basically of the respect from the community. This is why they do it. Yeah. But nevertheless, I'm just happy that those people exist and that they put effort inside it continuously. Rintegatamente or Rinnegatamente or whatever. Just let's call them Rin. Uh, well, Rin also has a, pa a Patreon page, um, which is pretty cool in my opinion. That he has a, a Patreon page. Um, he didn't do it at first. And then at some point he gave in to the requests, basically, of people telling him, Dude, you're doing great work. Why don't you get yourself a reward for it? I mean, you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours up an end. So just, you know, just take, take our money, basically. And that's really fair enough. I'm not too sure about the decision with the back touchpad, but I'm also playing this in front of a camera, so it's, you know, it's sometimes I accidentally press the rear touchpad. I already can tell you one thing, the graphics are vastly improved, vastly. So, yeah. I'm just waiting for for somebody to bring out a little piece of software which basically enables us to play whatever PC game on the PlayStation Vita, you know, that you don't have to have somebody who ports the game, but basically have a little shell that is, um, yeah, running Windows-based games, for example. That would be pretty cool. I mean, I don't know how stable it is, okay? It might be that it, that it crashes any minute. Um, and if it would, I wouldn't be angry at all. I would just say that's a port. But it, it, it looks so, so damn stable. And imagine they would have released this game for the PlayStation Vita. What do you think? People would have ripped it out of the hands of Sony. <laughs> they would have literally gone crazy i'm pretty sure because this is one of the greatest games so if this game really works and would run stable and it looks as it did is it does run stable for now and it does so at 60 frames a second then yeah what what an amazing achievement it's just fantastic it's it's just beautiful i mean this is a milestone game from 1997 if i'm not mistaken um, yeah, running on 60, how good is that? Loading. It's such a strong title. It's really um, a really strong game, a very strong game. I played it a little bit, as I said, mm. encountered some crashes. This is, by the way, the infamous G-Man, for those of you who don't know who that guy over there is. 